Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, snort rail for this vehicle. So here you can see as the vehicle's vehicle is moving around the world in the snow landscape, it's carving out a path on the snow. So this is what we are going to work on today. We will be reusing the same systems that we implemented in order to get the cross reaction but we will be modifying it to match the requirements to get a proper trail on a snowy landscape here so before we get started let me remind you that you can watch the previous episodes of this system uh, where we implemented the system to support a trail for a character and npc as well and also here you can download the full project files of this project from my patron page so once you become a member not just this project all thousands of projects that i have done will be accessible for you so yeah now let's get back to today's episode okay so in the current status with the vehicle in our snow deformation system this is how it looks we do see a very short trail behind the car but this is not good enough and also you see this is uh, black i think this blackness happens see here is some black patches actually that appears because this is skylight past shadows if i disable that that's not appearing anymore so depending on what you're designing you may need that you may not but that's something you should know and maybe there is another way to fix that too okay so now that's not what we are going to work on here i just need a proper trail behind the car so now let me open the car blueprint and here we have back left back right what's this vp this is not something i think i left this by mistake pp yeah let me remove that back right and back left let me enable debug shapes so this is how it looks right now now if i play the game for the trail i do have a trail but not really long enough and also i think we are wasting resources by having these trails as a perfect sphere it's not necessary for us to have them as a perfect sphere by the way i enabled subsurface color for the material this part so it looks better now but that's not reload so again what we are going to do here okay back to here so i think it would be better if instead of having spheres like this if i make them longer so to do that let me open pp trail and here at trail objects um we can just disconnect the x component and keep it as one and now let's see actually if i go to the blueprint itself it's still not elongated let's make x twice the size yeah now it's long this is better yeah so if i place a vehicle 
in the world, I should be able to see that in action. Okay, that I think this is a long enough trail. Now, if I disable show debug shapes, compile. Okay, the trail only appears in this part. So that should be because I'm making it smaller along Z axis asset. Maybe we should avoid that. Mm. If I simply break this and keep it at one. Yeah, see, now we have a longer trail and it does. Okay, this is better. So if I possess this, oh, here we get two. Maybe there are some issues here. So let me delete that. Okay, now we do have Computer tray. But it's too short. So here you can select all the trail objects and reduce love speed to a level that you prefer. If you reduce it, basically the trail length will be longer. But if you still need the permanent trail, maybe we should do the same thing that we did for our character. That the method that we use to leave a permanent trail on the ground. But I think for the car, this is enough. At least for now. But maybe later on we can look into how to have a permanent trail. But this is working well. Okay, so I think we can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the veteran page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.